follow me on a journey where no one has ever been before. Listen to the Cali Effect. Good evening, YouTube. You guys are now watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Today, we're going to be going over that deck that we've been talking about, that we've been raving about so much. The deck that you guys have been waiting and dying to see. We're going to go over Yang Zing Master Race. And by Master Race, I mean that this deck has the capabilities of being the best archetype in the set. The deck is really, really good. We're going to be going against Davy Kicks 15. I do not know why my FPS has dropped. Um, definitely low. And I am going to fix that problem as soon as possible. But who goes first? Um, good luck, have fun. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys right now, every time I tell somebody good luck, have fun, every time somebody says good luck, have fun, they're playing something I don't want to play. More often than not, it's burn. This guy's not, doesn't look like a burn player, but I'm going to go ahead and give him the benefit of the doubt and assume that he does not uh, play burn. Uh, he has two back row face down. Sweet. All right. I, I felt that I opened pretty strong. We opened really strong. And in Yang Zings, I feel any time um, I play this deck... I really want to get Archfiend here to the graveyard because that card is going to fuel so many plays for us. It's not even funny how many plays that he can pull. And even if Mathematician doesn't get destroyed by battle, um, if you don't draw with Mathematician, I feel that it's just strong. It's really good to get that card in the graveyard. Next, I'm going to set the creation. I'm going to set the creation. And I'm going to set the skill drain. And that's going to be really nasty. Um, if he doesn't disrupt the back row, um, it's, it's not going to be nice because Archfiend here will destroy Mathematician if he doesn't decide to attack over it. And I will special summon two more Yang Zing monsters and go into another play. Um, so that's why I'm like, that, this deck can get really nasty. Uh, the Archfiend Eater will eat the Mathematician at will, it won't care. Um, yes, I wish to activate a couple things. I'm going to activate my first creation as a response. No? Yes? Uh, yes. I'm going to activate my next creation. Is there a response? So, double creation. I know he fills it. Mm, yes. Or can I? No. Not going to let me activate it. That's fine. Yes, it's still my end phase, and I wish to activate Nefarious. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right now, if he allows me to get off what I am attempting to do, which I don't feel is necessarily an extremely strong thing because he does have back row. So, you know what? Now that I think about it, maybe I shouldn't be doing it. But we're going to activate both copies of uh, Yang's and Creation. And, like I'm telling you guys, it's it's not going to be nice. We'll special summon Chai Win. And you know what? Uh... I'm going to go with the safer option. I'm just going to special summon uh, Bixie to my side of the field. And Bixie's going to give me some really strong presence on the field. So right now I have seven. I can go for... I can go for a lot of things right now. I can go for pretty, really strong Leo. Uh, I can go for really good Star Eater. Uh, I think Leo's pretty good. Hmm, so many options. I can go for Ancient Sacred Wyvern. But I don't necessarily know what he's playing. I could go for Armadas. I feel Armadas is very safe, too, because you also have to keep in mind, he's, he could be playing hand, so... I'm going to abandon all my other previous thoughts, and I'm just going to go to Armadas and bait him out to see if he's going to use anything. Anything? There you go, Karma Cut, I figured. And he Karma Cut's discarding a generic card. Um, I could activate Skill Drain, but I don't think that's going to benefit me right now. Uh, hmm. The next thing I'm going to do, I don't know what he's playing face down, and I don't want to risk running into my hand. That's like a big no-no. So we're going to set a monster in defense, and then since we have Bixie face up, we're just going to pass our turn. Like if, I feel like if I can bait out his back row, I'll be more than fine. So, we're going to activate Archfiend Eater again. Archfiend Eater is going to eat the Bixie. Do you have a response? And... I think... I really feel like we should just, like... Overwhelm him. 
No. Shy win and the creation. Do you have a response? Uh four. I'm going to nine. Alright, we're already getting a chai win. I can bring out two chai wins, even though that would be anything. Let's bring out you. Because you're always really nice to bring out. Just in case I, I want to make that that type of play. Uh, chai win. You know what? I actually will probably want to make that type of play. So let's bring out another chai win. So I don't, I don't think that this is going to be nice for him in any way, shape, or form. And we drew the mask a million too strong. So I'm gonna flip some of the Swanee. Response? Anything? Oh my god, he has something. Um, I can go into Star Eater, Leo, Black Rose. They have so many options. What's his hand? He has two cards in here. I feel like an out advantage on if I go into Black Rose, but I don't want to make Black Rose. We're going to miss one. So my try one in attack. And these two guys. Uh, response. If he goes second Karma Cut and targets my Chime with, I'm going to cry. He solves it. Perfect. Um, hmm. I can go two plus three. That's five. I can go in an uh, undestructible Goyo almost. But I don't want to risk going into the Fire Hand. What exactly is this face down? That's what's like really getting to me right now, guys. What is his face down? And how will I be able to combat it? Uh, hmm. I don't even know what this man's playing. He has just really been running into a lot of generic shit. Uh, fuck it, let's make Voxio. Chameleon effect. Do you have a response, Mr. Man, with a thousand background? None? I know he's gonna have a response soon enough. So we'll just go ahead and make the box here. Uh, I wanna make Scrap Dragon so much. So bam and bam. We'll go Boxia! Boxy effect. We're gonna put the monster back to the deck no matter what. I don't care what you say, yellow swipe. Sweet. We get permission to put the monster back into the deck. Uh, I'm going to activate Tear. Those three monsters get back into the deck. Watch me lose it to a Karma Cut. I swear I will cry. No, he passes. Alright, so we're all good. I feel like we're strong right now. I'm going to hit him with some 2800. I'm going to get him some max damage. Maximum damage. I feel like there were so many other things we could have done, but... Since this guy wanted to be like on Jerk Street, we can just advantage all of it and keep going for it. If you guys do not do anything, this is just a prime example. If you don't do anything uh, to Yang Zings, I can just sit there and activate our Dream Leader and just continue to out advantage you at will. And that's what happens when you guys don't do anything. I don't know what the hell that guy was playing. I didn't want to risk anything, so I really didn't want to take any chances. Um, let's get into a second game because. I know you guys are excited to see this deck just as much as I am. Alright, game two. And you guys essentially see what Archfiend Eater on its own, on its own sense, can do to a game. I'm just going to continuously be able to cycle through my games and monsters and gain as much advantage as I want at will. And it's the opponent's just sitting there like, duh, what do I do now? Um, unfortunately, I don't know what's wrong with my computer right now. It's, it's just being slow. And I remember actually having this exact same problem with my last computer and it being a lot of porn up. Don't, don't tell my wife. Um, it, it, it was a lot of porn up. So, um, I don't remember watching any porn on this one. Like, was I? No. No, I couldn't have been. I, I couldn't. I don't have enough time. Okay. Beside the point, um, game scenes are, they're a very intelligent deck. It, it's a lot of different things that you have to play. Um, hopefully we can get to another game and I'll be able to show you more than I can tell you. Alright guys, Furco Furco Jaden 98, however the fuck you say his name, alright? We're just gonna keep going on with our game. Um, what the hell is he playing? 
Please don't be burned. Be something bad like Ghost Trick Monarch. Okay, it looks like something like Ghost Trick Monarch. And yet again, I still don't know what the hell is wrong with my FPS. I'll get into that later. Whatever. We're just going to summon Mathematician. And uh, Mathematician is going to do just about the exact same setup. It's, it's nothing really going to change. You can break your skill if you want to. I was actually thinking, not like fully committed to it yet, but thinking about running um, Felice. And if I send her with Mathematician, then, you know, obviously, and I can run Foolish Barrel. But, like, I, I felt that that was just a little too much. But it was just a nice thought. You know, it doesn't hurt to think. Because that's what the Cali effect does. Oh, and here's the best thing. If you ever draw Archfiend, Nefarious, Eater, or whatever, you can... Uh, I figured. It's the deck that I played yesterday. Why not? <laughs> he must have obviously saw the video and was like, man, this deck is just too strong. But, um, oh, okay, he, he's like, screw me, I don't, I don't want to run that nasty Cali effect trash. And that deck has, has been a consistent problem uh, for Yang Zings. So what we can do is I can activate Skill Drain and I can, oh, no, I can't. Uh, no, oops, I actually meant yes. He's declaring attack, I'm going to activate creation, that's fine. Do you have a response? I will take the 100, I will draw a card, and I will be able to special summon, so thank you very much. Um, with that, I do, oh, he lost connection, he didn't want it, he didn't want that struggle, I was actually going to special summon, hmm, chewing, no, I wasn't going to special summon, I don't know what the hell, um, I already used creation, so chewing, yeah. Chewin into Baumung and then make a Baumung when it's destroyed. It gets to special summon something else. Actually, that probably wouldn't have been the best. So, no, he still had a pretty good um, leverage on this game. So, I don't know exactly why he quit, but sure, it doesn't matter. Um, I definitely have to think about my play. Let's just put it that way. Um, I don't, I don't want to say that I had it. I don't want to say that I can get over a card like Fire Hand because the card is like sheer annoying in this deck. But, um, we're going to be playing against Taco Sally Boy. Sure, whatever. That's a decent name, I guess. It's better than a lot of the other names that I see. But, uh, Taco Sally Boy is going to fetch me a turn one. No? Sweet, he fetched me a turn one. Isn't he so good? So we're going to activate Duality. I want him to know what he means. I don't care. Uh, sweet. Yeah, I want him to know that I'm playing Master Race. And that there's, I don't want to say there's not much you can do about it and get, you know, blind space typhoon for the right card, but I want to hope that there's nothing you can do about it. So go ahead. Back to you, Taco Salad Boy. He's going to give me a thousand life points. That makes me wish that I play cards like Solid Boy, Soul Charge, stuff that, okay, sure. This man's about to get serious. He just gold sarked me. I don't know how to feel about that. Oh god, another monarch deck. This man's going ham. Um, calm down, sir. Calm down. I drew a tear drop. I don't feel comfortable in the situation that I'm in right now. I do not feel comfortable at all. Um, unfortunately, I don't think Baumunga helped me. I don't know what he's playing, so I don't want to run into a hand and Ah, uh, whatever. I'll just pass turn. Why did I... I didn't even set Chaiwin, damn it. I'm gonna have to set this big figure, because I know he's gonna summon a monarch right now. What do you have for me? Unearthing the monarchs. What is up with everybody playing this card now? Uh-oh. Oh, it was a Spirit Reaper. It didn't matter. That's cute. It did not matter. Um, sure, that's fine, I guess. And that's another reason why I wish that was a base. Oh my god, did he really just add the Maj Majestus Fiend on me? I don't know how to feel, man. And then he's gonna enter battle phase, and uh, he's gonna attack? Oh! Well, it makes my job easier. It makes my job a hell of a lot easier. 
So, yes, I wish to use buy-in. Yes, I wish to use creative. Alright. So, creation, you get this back. And you get hmm, uh, three, five, six. I'd rather go for seven. I have a better seven. End of the battle phase. No, I do not wish to go for five. Now I know he has some thinking to do. Nothing. All right, sweet. This is all great. I can go for Armadas. I feel like Armadas would just like wreck his day if I did it appropriately. Or I can go for my favorite card, Ancient Sacred Wyvern. What is destroyed? Yeah, Majestus. Armada. I think Armadas would be able to take it anyways. Armadas will prevent him from going into battle, and it'll, it'll be able to take any of his monsters right now. So, 2800 attack armadas is. Ah, crap, he's just gonna tribute it. Oh, I'm a Lance it, because I'm too strong. Does Lance work? It's gonna be interesting. I wanna say Lance works. And we'll set you. And. Actually, I can activate Pow. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and activate Pow. Why? Because I need skill drain or breakthrough skill as fast as possible it's not going to be nice if i go throughout this whole game without it. um that's okay that's something i can deal with so go ahead i don't want to invest every single card i had into one monster and then lose it to obvious i mean it can't be targeted And I don't even think I'm on that card selects. So damn, we just be getting rid of our armadas regardless. Hmm. This isn't nice. Yeah, I think those two cards in conjunction will ruin my day right now. I'm trying to think. Dark hole. That's perfect. Man, this man just puts himself in amazing spots right now. So now I does I know he doesn't have anything. Tribute my stuff. Fixie, creation, creation. Uh, I'll get out you. We'll get out you. And we'll get out. I could instant black rows. I think that's like a good fell save, but I don't think I'm gonna need it. That's fine. That is fine. I, I think another thing that he forgets is that my Yang Zines can activate um, on my turn. So unless like he drops a lava golem and then tries to tribute. My monsters with his under. What the hell is he playing? Is that Exodus? Why does this card seem so much mainstream? Ah, you're a smart man. Um, let's go right now. Uh, no. If I activate both, buying them this time. I was like, wait, what are you doing? Yeah, we'll just bring him out right now. We'll ruin your. Uh, yes, I wish I could make your effect. I'm gonna choose you, you, and you. And I'm not even gonna lie, that's actually the... I think the first time I've used... Uh... Voxia's, or the Synchro Summon on my opponent's turn effect thing. But, I mean, the Dark Hole kinda... Uh, set it up for me. I gotta give him props for that. Uh, I get to destroy one card to Special Summon a card. It's, it's surely nice to use these type of card effects, because now I think it's game. I'm going to activate Boxia's effect, I'm going to target Chewin, and I'm going to special summon Sonic. Yeah, this is definitely big, unless he has like 
the battle meter. Whoa, get out of my way. What the hell was that? Yes, I wish you was chewing the back. Yes, I wish you was creation to back. Yes, I wish you was creation to back. Yeah, this doesn't look good. I'm gonna say it for his sake. Uh, we're gonna special summon you. I wish I had a calculator. Uh, regardless, I think this is more than enough. And so far, I'm not. Oh, well, I misplayed, but whatever. It's just as much as I'm in chewing as the second one. It's different in real life, guys, I promise you that. Watch him do Battle Fader, and I'm gonna cry, I'm not even gonna lie. Battle Fader, something of that nature. Yep. Yep. And I'm not even gonna lie, I really wanted to bring out that Chewing instead. That's fine. Uh, we're going to set the Mystical Space Type and pass turn. Look at that fill, though. That's a lot of presence. So if you like those black rows somehow. Uh, do I lose? Yeah, I can come up with that. I think I lose. Pius. Well, that is not a very nice card to play. So I'm not going to do anything because I don't have a response. He's just going to remove my box here with no fair. Attached all over it. That moment where you realize that I should let him destroy my monster. That's actually more than... Oh. I can't damage step up. Hmm. No, that's fine. Yes, I wish to use Sonny's effect. Yes, I wish to use Chewin's effect. No, I do not wish to use Creation's effect. Oh, I said to use Sonny's effect. Oh, well. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm still, as you guys can see, I'm, I'm not old school to the deck. The deck isn't that old. I've only played it for X amount of time. Um, so with that being said, there isn't... Oh, whoa. I don't even know what to do. That's a lot. That's all I can say. It's like, would you like to use any of these cards and chain links to prevent the opponent from doing stuff? But I'm not, like I said, I'm not, like, completely 100%. I know the deck. Um, there's still some cards that I would like to, you know, consider or look out, um, look for when I play the deck. I really want to go into Wyvern now. Wyvern is just like, he is like, what's up right now. But Wyvern will cost me both my buy-ins. Hmm. Do I give up both my buy-ins for Wyvern? Yeah, I think that's actually worth it. So, you plus you and you makes you. And you're 3,000 right now? Uh, and we'll just go for... Hmm. I think I'll go for Scrap Dragon, actually. Oh, crap. Oh, well. Why was I... I was like, yeah, Scrap Dragon makes perfect sense. I'll get over all his monsters before he can but then yeah if you guys did not notice uh that card is dangerous had i went for mistworm i would have hit him for 25 uh 20 it would gain 25 it, it would have been devastating type damage um like genuinely he would have taken a great deal of damage and it probably would have been insurmountable but um me being me i summon chai Wing, and instead of going into catastrophe or something i go into scrap guy sure I like to rank up. And, like, I I have control over this game. Even with the two, I feel minute mistakes, but there are still mistakes that it, it, it's, it's totally different from playing in real life than one game. I, I play this deck in real life. I play the Living Daylight out of this deck in real life. So when you play it on the game, it's like, uh... But anyways, um, as you guys can see, game teams really do have a lot uh, to offer uh, in this for playing it's it's just really good the deck is so disruptive for the opponent it, it gets over a lot of situations um firehand is firehand and ice hands are obviously a threat but um if you play well you can play around the deck or play around the card because i mean hey we're yeah, we're the masquerade 
but like I said, you guys will be seeing this deck profile. I want to say about 50 likes, and I'll do it probably over the weekend. But uh, thank you guys for watching another segment of the Cali Effect. Please like, comment, subscribe, but most of all, enjoy.